Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on the Feed the Beast World Servers. And as you can see, nothing's really changed. Though I did add some Thawncraft stuff and I've been super busy. What I've actually been doing is why there's nothing to really show yet per se is that I've been busy in this thing this thing and I've gotten quite a bit done quite a bit found out I got all these aspects finally figured out well not all of them I think I'm still missing a couple probably but I mean I've been going through just so much stuff scanning all of it and I found out my favorite thing to scan of all are thermal expansion machines can I scan this yet? yeah look at that Anything thermal expansion just it just gives so much stuff. Nothing on IC2. But look at that. Just so much. It I went around scanning you can scan people, which I didn't know. You can scan Um yeah, like all the machines and stuff. So that's all I've been doing for I've been building up aspects, I've been getting some research here and there. All so I can have this guy right here on the wand of equal trade and we're gonna need this in order to really work on the on any of the islands because we're gonna need to be able to build them and then trade them out I mean yes I could build them in the design or the desired block but I would be building the whole thing out of the desired block or have to pay attention as I'm building it and it goes much faster if I can just take the the wand and then it'll coat coat it around the the outside as to how I want it to look or in some cases like this I actually want the stone to stay but I'll cover it up and I have an idea we're gonna go a little bit of a of a steampunk feel I'm gonna try for I'm gonna blow some holes in the side of this and make it look like it's actually a bunch of machinery in there like Colossus machinery is what's keeping all these islands up or just some thought along the lines it's gonna be interesting to see um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that so you can go ahead and submit your ideas I'll take them but overall I'm not even really sure I think it'll look cool in my in my head it's looking cool but we gotta see how it's actually gonna look once we build it and what I'm doing right now in case you haven't been able to figure or well see the see the similarities in the recipe is that oh what do I need for this oh now see I'm not sure about something hey wait a minute where did the book say I need a tree Oh, I don't need tree, I need earth. Earth. Terra. No, it's in there. Oh, there it is. So what's... I got Terra, Order. What's the other one? Oh, okay. So, I've been wondering something. Can I... I don't want the flux levels to get too out of control. 16, is there... What do we got? And this is a feature I love of this book so far. I can go back to basic information, aspects, come here and look to see, where is it? Everything I found that contains this. And a bit, let's see, we got sand, tin, cobble. Okay, so let's look at some of those. I only want, yeah, that'll work. Minute amounts, because I know nothing is actually. Where'd that sand go? Oh, that one's got the. Here, we'll use the sand instead. Oops, I didn't want that much sand. <laughs> okay, so we need. We got our cauldron here. I've been wondering if this will work. If I can boil you. And nope, I'm not thinking that'll work because I need.
I need that one altar for that to work properly. Oh, I never scanned these. All right, more stuff. Brewing stand. Cool. What about this one? Yeah, see, that's what it's been like. Oh, the last couple days it's just scan. Oh, what about this? Can I scan this? Can I scan that? Oh, 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 oh. And then I ended up with ah, ah sand on my crystal. I ended up with all of these. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if I showed you all these yet, but yeah, just look at all of them. It's nuts. So we're gonna need to find some of the chaotic orders, something like that. And I'm hoping I don't have to actually find it in my. I want to see something. If I take the... Oh, the wand itself is skyrocketing my viz cost. No, it's not. Not a whole lot, anyway. Now, what if I... Nope, see, I can't suck it up. Nothing to be done there. So, we'll put that back for now. So, no, actually, I need to take this. So, I need to go find some... Of that now how there's this where is it this thing that I've been wanting to build and I think it's about time except that I don't have no I do have fire and water on this thing right yep so I'm gonna go ahead and reach retreat this recipe and we today I hope to build that one to equal trade today hold on okay might notice a little skip in the video there but I had to whoops talk to someone for a second about how I'm uh, just busy 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 but I'm thinking after this and while I'm waiting for this video to render I am going to was that stone that I needed for that? Yep, actual stone. So, I think... Do I still have a cache up here? Yep. I think after... The, well, I'm waiting for this video to render. I am going to... Go... Play some Devil May Cry 4. I've been real big into it lately. I mean, I don't have any. There, right there. Bam. Okay, we're going to grab... 18 should be plenty because I don't want to drain the wand too far yeah I just I've been going nuts over this Thalmcraft stuff and it's always been one of my favorite mods once I got to a point of understanding how it you know like how it approached its problem or it's not its problems but it's how it approached stuff like what its idea was and it's actually quite thing but when I first started looking at it in Ultimate, yeah, in Ultimate, honestly, I could barely stand this mod. Okay, so we got the arcane stone blocks. We need a crucible and a furnace. So to get the furnace, we all know that recipe. one furnace and I try not to make these episodes full of crafting stuff unless it's something interesting and I think this is interesting <laughs> at least I do but I just want to show you where I've been what I've been doing and what I'm trying to get done so that I can make my wonderful world of Harry Potter no <laughs> welcome to the wonderful world of Harry Potter you know those Lego commercials now okay maybe somebody knows what I'm talking about okay so now we got that gimme still yep still crucible so now we can go ha bam damn bump 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 and need the wand all right so now we have an alchemical furnace I have no idea how this really works we're gonna put it we'll put it right there 
So I guess you put coal or alumentum in there is how that works. But to get anything out of it, I guess we need, uh oh, we need silverwood. And I don't know where to actually, I don't know of an actual for certain spot to get any of that. Where's my axe? My axe in here? Come on, I need to go ask a question. Ha 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 ha, so funny. <laughs> okay, we are going to, let's see, is super bad? No, he's not. So we are going to do a warp wild number two. And some of you might think, hey, warping, cheating. Well, you know, it's, it's the way of the game on this server. You know, a lot of a lot of people use them. I try to stick away from them. That's why I say, you know, I got the jetpack, so I can move around and try to stick to it like that. But I live in the middle of nowhere, and once I get, I'm gonna get into railcraft, just dinking around, seeing how it goes, because I want to build a monorail system that's gonna fly. Or I don't know how you'd say that a fly or oh, somebody's got an oil pump here. Oh, hello, desert house. Oh, I haven't seen this house yet. Hello, wonderful house. Ooh. Oh, crystals to scan. Some of these you can scan. Some of them don't offer anything. The magenta one I scanned at one point gave me a whole bunch of stuff. Scan all of his stuff. I don't actually... I'm not going to grab any of your stuff, buddy. Just scanning it. Tree that I don't have. Scan, 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 scan. Ooh, okay, I got that one. Sandstone. Chiseled sandstone. Anything else in here that I can. Alright, thank you, buddy. Oh, a bed. Let's scan the bed. Okay. Uh oh. No, that's not where I want my bed spot. Oh, that'll be interesting <laughs> for him when <laughs> I wake up in his own bed. Oh, okay. We need to find a silverwood tree, and I don't think I'm going to find it this way. So, uh, to save on time, I'm going to fly around, do a whole bunch of flying around real quick, look for that. Silverwood tree, and I'm thinking it might be on the other side of this forest. These are mean, evil forests. Look at this tree. It's screaming and spinning its head around. Look at me. Yeah, look at that. Ugh. Creepy tree. Scan the creepy tree. Okay, can't scan the mud. Oh, what's this stuff? Ooh, this is pretty water. Okay, we have to jump in this water. Oh, we've got strength. That's cool. Normally, you jump in miscolored water, you're getting poisoned on some level. Some of that's really nasty. Like, there's sludge. That's just horrible, but... I think it gives you nausea, hunger, and poison. Yeah. Glorious. Okay, so I'm going to go make that cut and find us some silverwood trees. And maybe some great wood trees, too, if we get lucky. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, well, we found a great wood tree. And let me tell you what, these suckers are a pain in the butt to cut down. I mean, I guess I'm using my Tinker's Construct Lumber Axe, and it really doesn't like to work with it. I think it has a lot to do with how high the tree grows. But I need to get rid of all these logs so that I can start getting saplings. I have one, but I know I can get two to four out of this thing. Sometimes six, especially with how many leaves there are. And that's really what I want. I want to be able to have enough saplings from the one tree to not only plant the sucker back down so that way I'm not destroying you know, the natural 
because I want to be able to re you know, you want to be able to replant always, and not just want to be able to replant, but you want to be able to take home with you. So and that's what I'm trying to achieve right now, as well as collect all these seeds. There's some they get stuck in these leaves, and a lot of the time they like to lag through. But I'd also like to, one tree is usually more than enough to supply you with wood forever, depending on how you use it. But, I mean, you, know, you could use it as the main source of magic you add into your cauldrons. Or if you just, oh sweet, there's another one. Now I can replant. <clears throat> but if you just use them for the recipes, then, oops, excuse me a second, I need to drink coffee. Oh, and I just now, I'm glad I stopped for that drink of coffee because I did not notice the enchanted forest right there. And that's where we're going to be able to go to get our silver wood and my jetpacks out of fuel. So now I have to be careful. So I'm not going back home yet until I get at least one more sapling need of an infernal hive. Not yet, but soon I am going to be starting my bees once I culture the bee island. And it is, of course, going to be on a prime island because the bee rigs I like to set up just straight up have to be massive. Okay, come on. Give me another sapling. Despawn faster. Before I just set you on fire, I'm not I'm not above doing that. Definitely makes the leaves despawn faster. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna sit here and wait for a little bit. I just wanted to show that we found our tree, and our silverwood tree is going to be in that mess over there. Ooh, and there's a taint by him too. Okay, see you back in a bit. Okay, I got my wood. Could not get a sapling though. I cut down I only cut down two trees. And I think from now on I'm only going to go to the I at least I hope I don't know yet if you can, but I'm gonna go to the twilight from now on to cut down any of them because the twilight gets reset. And if you can't get saplings to appear out of silverwood trees anymore then Personally, I don't want to have. I don't want to cut any more down myself, mainly because I don't want to lose their beautiful trees, and I don't want to lose you know, sight of them and not be able to have them around anymore. Hopefully, I can get so this one's up here. Right? This is my new Thumbcraft chest. Hopefully, I can get some saplings, and we'll be able to plant some around. Also, one of the islands is going to have to be Thalmcraft based, you know, Wizard's Tower idea. Same with, it would be a Prime Tower mixed with Thalmcraft and Blood Magic and, I think, is ours Magica in here? No, that was in Horizons. But anyway, you know, just straight up magics and stuff. It'll be fun. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, what was I... No, I wasn't doing anything in there. What was I... Needed... Needed... What did we need? We needed this thing. Arcane workbench. Two gold. And some silver wood. Do-do-do-do-do. Okay, I've been listening to a lot of, oops, got to put the wand in there. Okay, got one of you. Now we need to use it, so we need a bucket, gold, and iron. Okay. Gold. Uh, I still got the iron on me. And we got a bucket. Ha 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 ha, we're rolling. We are rolling. Uh, let's see if I can remember the recipe. Gold it shouldn't be that hard. I think it's the placement of the bucket that I'm gonna forget here. Yeah, that's not it. Mm. 
Oh, that is it. Why you no work? Uh oh. Arcane workbench. Oh. Not enough iron. There we go. Gimme you. Okay, so according to the book, this sits right right there. Oh. Makes a sound. So let's get I don't have any what does it take to make elementum? Throwing coal into the crucible. Probably make a good source of fuel. It's probably not a good idea to throw it against solid objects unless you enjoy explosions. Um, constant heat. Once the water starts to boil, you can throw stuff in there. It will be broken down in their component essentially. If you know the proper formula in the mix, candles, drones, after lift. It's not a good idea to such long crafting. Also, some of the water with the crystal, you will eventually need to refill it. You can empty by right clicking it on it with a wand. All essentially will be dumped to nothing. You should. So, how you actually make this then? Just throw in the coal? I need fire. What's the other one I needed? Uh, okay, the dark stuff. So let's just grab some sand, or we're gonna do, we're gonna try it like the old way that I remember how to doing it. So it goes by threes, threes. So we need twelve sand. and only six coal. That way we don't get too mixed up. Okay, so throw in coal, throw in sand. Uh-oh. We need our wand back. Huzzah! Uh-oh. How I work? Oh boy. I broke it. Maybe I don't have the right kind of wand. I threw in the coal. Fire energy. Huh. Sorry for the quiet moment, I'm just trying to see. Okay, so that don't work the way I want it to, so we're just going to go ahead and put this coal in here. And... Let's see, what's something I've been needing? Uh-oh. What's that? Is that poisonous? Flux taint. Ouch! That was nasty. Now what's it doing? <laughs> uh oh, we're gonna we're gonna die. I could break it. Yeah, that's scary. Okay, I just want this wand. That's all I want. I just want this wand. We needed some of the entropy. So we're gonna put some of this in here. And see what happens. It's supposed to boil up into there, though I don't know how to get it out. How do I get it out? 
Oh, okay. I'll be back once I figure all this out. Hey, I figured out a lot of it. Oh. Come on, like. Come on, frames. There we go. Okay, round it off a bit. <clears throat> so, yep, I figured out a bit. <laughs> I got uh, quite a lot of it to work. Though, now I'm confused on this part right here. But, I built it. I mean, start, right? We got... Oh, massive frame spikes. I figured out this thing. You need these Essentia tubes. It'll pull it right out. Um, I was still cooking stuff. You can still use coal, and we're still using coal. I made some more to jars, put some labels on them. The labels were easy enough to make. And I think I need to reset my launcher already. We're going to turn that right off. Yeah, see, labels are easy enough to make. And then you can actually make specific labels. That's for labeling filter versions of these. And I don't know why you'd need that, or maybe you need it to go somewhere else. I'm not sure. Oh, weather clear. Sorry. But, uh... We're getting rid of the rain for a minute, just because I know it's helping out my frames. And then, yep, so much research has been finished. Um, I don't know if anything's really different in here. Got great wood wand cores. Whoops. New caps. New foci. Whoop, dang it. Bunch more alchemy stuff. I mean, I'm still missing quite a few things, but I actually have that research in my inventory right now. Artifice, a whole bunch of new machines. I finally got the goggles, and I'll tell you what, they make spotting nodes so much easier. Look, I don't know if you can see it, but if you look two, one, two trees over, notice how it just, it's kind of blue there and it sticks through the, the tree? Yeah, there's a node over there. And I'll tell you what, when you're hunting for those things, that stands out a lot better than that lens, by than the single lens. So that's what I run around with now. Put that in there. <clears throat> what else did we... Um, I haven't gotten anything into golemancy yet. But um, I'd really like to know what this crowbar's for. I mean, I imagine maybe it's for railcraft. I don't know what you needed the rail crowbar for. We got enchanting. And a um, couple things in here. So, yeah. Making some progress, some headway. If you have any questions about it, let me know. And then I have a small story. tell you about. Yep. I recently started this probiotic approach. And um, in case you're wondering, this is the next day. Actually. <clears throat> after this, after that cut. This is a new day. New day. And I'll tell you what. I skipped my morning coffee. Like, not choosing not to have it. I straight up didn't want it. I had a banana and some yogurt and that's like totally old people food <laughs> or kids however you want to look at it but I'm gonna look at it as kid approach oh we got a new wand too gold banded great wood wand holds 50 of everything and I get a 5% discount but yeah I chose to not have my morning coffee and mainly just because I didn't want it. I went, you know, I woke up this morning. I slept in so bad, you know. I went to sleep around 2 o'clock last night trying to do more Thaumcraft stuff so I'd have something to show you. And that's how I got to that infusion table thing. And I must say, I love the new altar better than the mystical thing that sat, the little table that you just made and then hit your wand on. An actual 3D structure is nuts.
But yeah, um, I'm going with, I take a dose daily of dark chocolate, and it's 90%, so that stuff is very difficult to swallow. And then we also, ooh, that's almost full. We also, I'm um, taking a, it's called True Biotics, it's a pill form, it's about a dollar a day worth of pill. So, you know, 30, I think it was like $30 or close to. I don't think it was the full 30 But I just look at it as, yeah, I paid 30 bucks for it. Oh, well. And, yeah, the first few days, I really didn't notice anything. Yesterday, this is only day three I've been doing it. Yesterday, I didn't feel really that much better or anything of the sort. Oh, I can fit one up there. But the first day was rough. My stomach was in knots. Like it, it didn't feel natural. Like I'd been, like I'd eaten a poison or something. And in case you're wondering and you don't know, probiotics, it's pretty much taking more in more, taking in and supporting more healthy bacterial growth in your digestive system. Um, there are, in fact, bacteria living it within you, and uh, the, not about 90% of them, I think, are focused in your digestive system. And I guess there's this new thought to a sort of kind of not uh, well epidemic going around that they believe currently they are calling it candida, which is a yeast that feeds. I should say feasts off of all the sugars you eat and when you're at a point to where you're no longer in taking healthy good bacterial stuff such you know like and it's not just like the pill but I, you know bananas are good for it yogurt dark chocolate there's a tofu soup there's some teas that are really good for you and just um uh, yogurts the I guess the Greek yogurt is the best. I don't understand the difference personally. But yeah. Yeah, uh second day I didn't really notice anything. And today I passed up my morning coffee. So yeah. It's just it's definitely interesting. And I'm starting to wonder if the whole Candida thought how much merit it really has to it. So, I guess, oh, back to the history lesson, I, cut, I don't know why I cut that off, um, I guess Candida is a bacteria, it's, it's a yeast, and I said that, I know, but, leads to the next part, <laughs> it, um, it feeds off the sugar, which I guess the sugar is actually toxic. When it comes to um, for you know eat the consumption of humans, it's actually on a whole toxic, and you do need the candida because it breaks it down. But at the same time, you have to watch your levels because the candida, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was called, the candida will rage through your system causing you weight gain issues causing you sleeplessness because you're not getting proper nutrients and then also low energy levels and a, and a few other things all because you're not getting the proper amount of nutrients out of your diet or anything you eat and I found out that as long as you actually have a decent balance of goodness coming in it really doesn't matter to an extent by you how much crap you eat but see the funny thing is is that it's not like I'm eating this or trying this diet for to lose weight or anything like that no I'm just honestly I was just looking for sleep I wanted to be able to sleep better I heard that it might help it was uh, cheap easy and uh, overall, like, it didn't seem threatening at all to be able to just try myself without consulting a doctor. 
So, I'm giving it the shot, and I must say, it's definitely something. Um, I do have more energy. Passed up my morning coffee. Just didn't want it. So, I mean, what does that say for? Does that say that it's working? I would say so. And it's only day three, so what's the rest of the week going to look like, you know? Yes, I started it on Saturday. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Okay, barley fields replanted. I try and do this only at story time, and I realize it's kind of boring, but at the same time, I don't have anything more from Thongcraft to actually show you at the moment. And I hope, now that I got that altar, that I can get to my want of equal trade, which means I will be able to... All the pumpkins? All the pumpkins. Which means I will be able to start sculpting that island, which, at that point, once I do get the top of it covered with grass... Now let's get up here. Get the top of it covered up with grass, get some grass potches, you know, do some designer work on it. <clears throat> oh, little baby zombie. Look at his little feet! <laughs> That's so adorable! Okay, do me a favor. Stay right there. How did he track me from so far away? Anyway, get this layer covered with grass. And uh, start building a house up here. It'll be exciting work. Exciting. Great things are happening, people. And I hope you stick around to watch them for me. <laughs> right? For me? Because uh, it's not like I don't watch my own videos or anything. And of course I watch my own videos. I have to. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, had a lot of fun. I did today. Got to tell you a story, too. It's exciting. So... I hope to see you in the next episode where we uh, can start working on progress. More progress. Bye, guys.